Hey everybody, this is Asher, back with more Dawn of the Mexica, where we are continuing pretty much where we left off. Which means we're in Chincalco 3, and I am just trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to survive, make it through, thrive, any of that. So we're gonna pretty much just carry on here, and hopefully not die within three steps of getting to anywhere. Uh, we have been beating up a few things, we've been trying to fight in the darkness a little bit. We do have a Thunder Fairy in view somewhere, but I am going to be doing some occasional zooming in and zooming out because it looks like that fairy is on the other side of a wall here. But we may have some exposure. We have, um, sometimes we just want to go ahead and keep tracking. Looks like it's asleep right now, so hopefully we can get a good shot on it. There we go, 52 damage. A hole right through the back while it's asleep, while lying in the air. That's uh, that's pretty nice. So our experience is level eight, and like I said last time, my goal is to kind of out-level the content, but really, I just have no idea where I am, so I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea how deep this dungeon goes, but we're gonna go as far as we can. Um, I don't think we can get too close to the lava. Um, one thing that I may need to do here, to be honest, is that um, we have cotton armor, which keeps you warm if the temperature is below freezing point. Um, cotton pants, which will keep you warm uh, as long as it's not moderately cold. We may need to switch armor if we need to move around here, but we should just be able to strip and move on. Appropriate to wear in the summer, because these things may make us overheat just a little bit. We'll see, though. Um, for now, I may be able to find stairs kind of without, but before we go around any corners, we have nobody over here. So I may be doing a little bit of backtracking. Um, but yeah, so far our tracking skill has been very reliable, just in terms of finding what's present and what's not. Yeah, we don't want to get too much closer. Now there is another set of stairs we might be able to take. So we may end up doing that. Hopefully I don't have to cross a bunch of lava to get to the next area. Okay, we have a rain fairy and a ghost. And those are up above me. All right. Like I said, with a roguelike like this, there is definitely a danger that what I do, this video may not last very long, especially if I can't track things appropriately here, but let's see. Okay, we do have an opening here. Let's track. We got a fairy again. Um, might be a good idea for me to hop out here. Because I can't get really close to these guys. But if I stand right here, I can at least try to investigate a little bit. Move a little bit closer. They haven't spotted me yet. So I could try to wait until they're actually asleep. But this is a little dangerous now. Okay, we don't have anybody coming for us yet. Oh, we do. We have the ghost up here, so that's going to attract some other attention here. So let's back it up just a little bit. We actually can't attack the ghost there. So we're going to drop this torch. I know I could be doing it. Oh, shit. Um, this is a problem. Because now we just gave the ghost a few turns to get a little bit closer to us. Yeah. There we go. So we knocked it out. Let's back this up some more. So see right away, just it takes a kind of tiny little misplay. And then we suddenly have a bunch of people on our ass. Now we don't have the fairy nearby. So let's recover our stamina here. But once again, if we can survive a few mistakes, we can go a long way in this game. Um, so that is a rain fairy. It would just take one critical from it to bore into our chest to be a problem. There it is. All right, so let's see if we can go for the one shot. We stunned it. Someone cast Soak on you. So it did cast a spell on us while we got over here. That's why we're wet. So when we're wet, we take more damage. Who knew, right? Okay, so no, no enemies appear to be around. So some of my spell resistance might just be a factor of my level. But we did find another staircase. Next to a shit ton of lava. And we've got over here another buddy. 
Um, I don't know if he can attack us yet, but... We're thirsty now, too, which is a problem, but one I might be able to solve here. We've already uh, dumped one liquid on ourselves. Let's go ahead and quaff this one. So I might take some stairs. Okay, that guy's not coming after us right now. How about up here? Do we have anybody? We do. So we potentially have some stairs up here. So who do we track? Oh, we got a lot of people, but they're one, two, three are all asleep. So hopefully we can make this work. Right. Okay, we stunned ourselves. That's not great. Okay, tracking is really dangerous here because those rust worms come fast. There we go. So, stunned it. Got it. All right. So, see, we're getting some critical failures now where maybe we weren't before. And I don't know if some of that's because we're sweating, because we're hot. But that will take us back upstairs, which is good, because we're going to need to get some more water before too long. So we have another um, rain guy over here. Maybe we just let that ride for now. All right, let's see if these stairs take us anywhere different after we hopefully kill this guy in one hit. Certainly took a lot of time to aim. So no enemies here. Like I said, we are just taking this really cautious. The corpse here, we've got three meat steaks that I can pick up. So we're just gonna eat the flesh of our enemies while we can. Let's see it's upstairs real quick. I'm pretty sure I've already been here. Yeah. So we're back over here. If we track, there's not much to it. But we know there's water nearby. And in fact, there should be some stairs right here. So if we go back up, I don't mind backtracking just a little bit here. Because we got fresh water. We track... Oh my god, we got so many bats. And a big beetle. So this is actually an area we have not been to. Let's just fill up our uh, water. And get the fuck out of here. Alright. Last thing I need is my cats are starting to go crazy here. Last thing I need is to have a run go so well. Only get swarmed by bats. Later on. But that means I could have gone um, to maybe a higher level. All right, so back down to Chincalco 3. We're just taking the cautious approach. And it's it's funny because maybe this is the right level of caution all the way through, but one day I'm going to be... We have a hailstone guy up here. But one day I might go through this game enough to where I'm not just trying to sit here and... What's that? It's a pile of items. We still got you up here sleeping, so let's see if we can just take you out real quick. Fortunately, sleep is good. Alright. So tracking is really powerful for letting us know where we can go and know what we can fight. And if we look at our stakes here, uh, these rot in a few more turns, but I can eat them. It doesn't seem to be too much else around here. That's something on the floor there, isn't it? No, that's just that's just graphics. And by the way, I have 46 spears. So we're still doing a good spear count. Gotta watch and make sure I don't accidentally walk into more bad circumstances. So that's just a dead end. 
I don't know if we're start starting to finally find where the ends of levels are, but it sure feels like it to a point. My two mushrooms rot. Oh, no. Well, I guess if I was really desperately hungry, I could eat some mushrooms. Do we have anything else that we can drop at this point? Not the fire seeds. Probably these winter shoes. Alright, what's what's here in the pile? A sling, a pair of winter shoes, a skeleton. So what's around the start corner? Nothing yet. And there I don't know if there's water here or not. We're just gonna walk and track. Where's our ghost? Our ghost is up here. Can I hit you? Yes. You're knocked out, so let's take a double aim. You're stunned, and you're gone. You're still asleep. Alright. So just like that, we're making progress through here, and as long as I play it careful, I think I do have what it takes to get through here. That's a problem, though, because we just ran into another enemy, so... Let's pick this up. We gotta get him a little closer here. And we don't want to track. Because that will um, cause some problems here. Let's actually drop the lit torch this time. Okay, so there he is. Don't know if this guy has magic or what, but we do 22 damage to him. Whoa! 335. Brutal attack pierces through Kakali's spinal column and splits it in two. Kakali falls unconscious and you kill him. All right, well, that's one way to crack an egg. Just because, once again, we ran around the corner just a touch too fast. I went from tracking, tracking, tracking to not tracking. Let's track here just to make sure. We have another rain fairy over here. It has spotted us, surely, by now. So we got to take it out right now. That's good, it'll bleed to death. And now my cats are attacking stacks of stuff. Nice. Um, but yeah, anything else? Doesn't really appear to be the case. Okay, so we got a corpse. And we have two spears, a corpse, and a jasper necklace. And that jasper necklace is probably blessed. Um, we're gonna hold on to what we have though. All right, so, and we have another rain fairy over here that's casually sleeping. So we, we just lost that spear. All right. So the question now is, can we get around these lava pools or am I gonna have to strip? Because I feel like that's the kind of enemy that's a bit of a boss that would be guarding the end of this place. We got three rain dudes over here. I really don't like those odds. Twenty-two, and we're stunned. So we've got to um, we got to hide. All right, so woo lord, you're coming. So we did get chased. And you went back to your own stuff, good. So we just gotta let this blow over a little bit. So you guys are now officially aware of my existence. All right. Okay, now we run. And all I'm gonna do is just go back the way I came that I know is probably actually safe. And we still got somebody coming after me here. But if we hug the wall, we should be okay. Like, I can take these guys on 1v1, but I don't want three of them casting rain spells at me because they get stronger as, like, they soak you. And that's a big problem. All right. 
Where's our one buddy down here? Okay, you're to the left. You're the one that's still sleeping, so. So now all we've got to do is just find the stairs that get out. Okay, skillfully track again. Okay, so we got a lot of dudes over here and a rust worm. Question is, is that can we actually get to them from here? Okay, Y'all are asleep on the other side. Is anybody up here? Doesn't look like it. Let's track again, the joy of tracking. So there's some other upstairs. And we've got we've got a bunch of people on both sides of us, so this could get dicey in a hurry. Depending on where we are actually able to gain purchase. Like I don't like the possibility of those guys all coming from the north to get us, but we've gotta gotta pick a fight at some point. Okay, those are still asleep. Shit, we gotta go out one more into the open. Good, we killed it in one hit, so let's back it up. You're still asleep. Damn, you actually fell asleep behind cover. All right. Aim, aim, fire. Fire. Okay. So we got two more buddies. One down here, one down there. And one of them's asleep and one of them's awake. And we got some more lava flows. We got somebody who's actually coming for us. So I should probably try to take him out. Yep, that's the problem. Don't want to get hit by this shit. You're bleeding and knocked out, so you're dead. All right, so that's another spear gone and a little bit of damage done. And this guy is still asleep. Okay, we don't want to get too close to the lava there. But we may have to. Because right now... Yeah. I may have to start taking off some armor here in just a little bit. All right, so we got a rust worm up here. Our torch is officially out. So drop it. Could eat a night shard, but I don't really feel like taking a night shard right now when we have all these torches. Okay, you're still asleep. And you're dead. Got another little cave fairy over here. It's also asleep. Like, I, I don't know if I'm right to be so concerned about getting critted by magic, but I certainly don't want to have to deal with it. So we have a giant beetle down here, too. I have a feeling those beetles mean we're near where we need to be. All right. So there's a giant beetle. It may smell us. Maybe. Same two things down here. Let's get our uh, spear back. Let's choppy chop and take the stakes. Like, I wonder at this point if I, okay, you're asleep now, so that's, that's good. Let's get you while you're snoozing. All right, can we track just the giant beetle? And we can hit you. You're going to die from bleeding, so let's track here real quick. Cool. Got to remember to exhale sometimes. So it doesn't look like we have too much more in the way of enemies on this side of the area. So we just got to hope that we don't have to cross a lava lake 
which we might totally have to. Which would be hilarious if the developer's like, obviously what you need to do is um, make it so that you have a path of rain flooding over the lava and then you can make it through. That would be, that would be hilarious. Oh boy. All right. Sorry, I just had to check some ridiculousness here. So let's just round this corner real quick. Get you with the peekaboo attack. There we go. And hop back to where we know it's safe and track again. So we have another rain guy who may have actually spotted us. So let's wait a second and track again. No, he didn't, and he's actually hiding behind a rock. Okay, you definitely saw us now. Okay, it's trying it's trying to get a good angle to us. Okay. How about here? You're not waking your buddies, are you? Wow, it's flying all over the place. Okay, we got one shot. And he cast Soak on me, so that's bad. We gotta let that wear off. Fortunately, my, my clothes dry out really fast here. It'd be really nice if I could track staircases, by the way. I know it's asking a lot, but... Alright. So we got another Thundercat up here. I'm seeing some lava on the mini-map over here. It's like I could see into this area somehow. I don't know if that's the tracking or what, but we know there's a little more cave to go to, and we know that this area is a little too hot to handle for the moment. Alright. So we got another Thunder Fairy that's asleep. We got another one that's up here. Let's see what we can find over on this side. Maybe not a lot from the looks of it. No enemies here. There's a spear we didn't get. No enemies here. Cave worm. Cave worm just hanging out. Okay, that that let the cave worm get a lot closer than I'd like. Well, since it's coming for us, we can just. Wait a second. Okay, three and you're bleeding and stunned. 172, that's a little better. All right. Any other enemies up here? Not right now. Would be nice if I could put some cloth around a torch. So we've got, um, we've got hotness up here. We got a rain fairy that's asleep on the other side as well. Okay, we're we're very hot right now. All right, well, let's start let's start doing this. Then we're gonna take this off. All right. Got a rain dude up here again. There's another spear of ours. Alright, so it looks like that taking off the armor is a little helpful. We can get a little closer. Alright, but... Can we hit you? Be good. That solves solves one issue. We track a giant beetle. Giant beetles on the other side of the lava too. Alright, so we're gonna have to figure out how to get by here. We may have to run around in just a hat. My right, two stakes were out. Let's let's test this real quick. So if we take this off, we're suddenly very hot. It's just it's just we're burning our skin right now. Okay, well um 
Let's go ahead and wear this and wear our fancy pants because that doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. We are going to have to find a way around some lava somehow. I don't know if that's going to be by pouring it on, pouring water on myself to get through or what. But it looks like insulated armor is only part of the issue here. Alright, so... Got another area over here with another fairy over here. And you're dead. So cool. Where's our rain buddy? Up there. Okay. So can we kind of snake through? All right. Good. Oh boy, we got a bunch of them. And they're all awake and they're all a little pissed off. But maybe not that pissed off. That could be where the stairs are. Okay, we got another one coming for sure now. All right. Okay, you're still you're still coming for me. So maybe not now. Like it's really hard to see where the shit is. All right. There we go. Okay, so we're drowning. That's nice. I said maybe maybe the clue is to get wet in the water. Let's let this dry off real quick. Someone cast electric zap on me. Well, I'm really glad I didn't get zapped too hard. There we go. Just cleared up that area. We got another got another buddy somewhere. It's really hard to tell with this cascading background sometimes, but <clears throat> mm. all right. Well, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't absolutely murder us. Although I guess technically here. We pour this all over ourselves, and then we go ahead and refill. That's clean water, right? That's enchanted clean water. Okay, that wears that wears off really fast. I don't think that's the answer. So our rain fairy is asleep and on the other side. It's about to be really on the other side because you're about to get stabbed with a throwing spear. All right. So it does not appear that our staircase is over this direction. But this is one of the rooms that I was super concerned about, so I'm glad we were able to uh, clear it out by taking the long way. Because this is the corner entrance was the wrong way to go. Alright, so got another rain boy over here. Okay, hello. Um Hellstone thing staggers, good. Nobody else over here for now. Like I said, we just need that one staircase. We got this again. That's just a dress. And that winter Timali, Timitali dress. It might keep you warm even if you're extremely cold. Well, we need more bandages, so. Any other enemies around the corner here? Not really. All right, so if it's not this side, then we got to check north side. Because we haven't had that wonderful ping on the map that says, oh, a staircase is here. All right, well, just clearing shit out. Tracking as we go. Trying not to run around these terrible corners and getting attacked by things. It's like, this is a turn-based game. But that doesn't mean there can't be tension, because there's certainly a level of tension of, oh my god, I'm gonna die. 
Okay, so we know we can't go that way because we'll pass out, but we can kind of walk down the middle of the lava. Let's make sure we don't have any random ass patrols. We don't. I didn't mean to rest. You have no need to rest. Look for a bed if you want to sleep. Okay. All right, so we got some more glows over here. Um, where's our rain buddy? Up there. But is it on the other side of a wall? And it's asleep. I don't even know if I can attack it from right here. That's too bad. Because that may be our ticket out. Okay, why did I stop exploring up here? Is it because I ran into a dead end a little bit? I think it is. I ran into a big old lava pool. So we should be back to seeing our sleepy rain thing over here, but it's... Um, I want to get much closer. Okay, that's a problem. All right. There we go. Don't always like waiting for a full turn, but it woke up. What can we do? Four meat steaks. Okay, it's really nice that the uh, track function also counts as resting. But it'd be hilarious if, like, the thing I need to do the whole time was to have these uh, rain fairies actually drop water on the lava. Let's make sure I didn't miss a thing here. Like, there's a staircase over here. If I can find out how to get to it. But that staircase probably just goes up. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe maybe that's our way out. Maybe tracking does work for staircases. There's a torch here. That's our dead torch. Hello, dead torch. Oh, shit. We got knocked out by one of these. Something hit you with the stone arrow from the northeast. All right, well, since we're knocked out... We heal ourselves with a bandage. Um, let's try the convoluted fruit to see if that wakes us up. A cold wave hits you and shocks you. Unfortunately, I'm knocked out even harder now. So this may be the end of the run. Um, we'll have to see. I can re-equip stuff. Okay, so we're stunned. A hailstone dude hits us with an arrow and tries to, but fails. Okay, so we're just going to be chain bandaging right now. All right, any other things that we can eat? I can't throw stuff. I can try to drink this. More resistant to puncture and slashing attacks. That might be what we need. All right, so 1.6... 1.3, 0 0.9, like we don't have any shield skill, 2.9, 2.5, so all because of one wrong turn in an area I've already been to before. So I do have a lot of bandages, I may be able to outpace some of this. If I can just get out of the knockout loop. Like, it looks like it's out of arrows. You're blasted with freezing cold. Okay, we're no, we're now just stunned here. Can we hide? Cannot hide while stunned. Good. We survived. We survived with an injured left leg. Okay, this, wow, that guy really missed us. Okay. Well, now, now we have to do the thing. So, wield in left hand. Knight. Got him. All right. Whew. That was uh, painful. 
to say the least. We have a left leg that's wounded. Let's, we're running out of herb plaster in a hurry. I do not know how exactly to heal this, but or how to make more of these, but you know, it feels good. Thank you, Shadow Dweller, again for your advice. Shadow Dweller, a person that I see on uh, the Steam page, and he's commented on some of the videos before. Sorry, assuming it's a he. But Shadow Dweller, anyway, the um, person who has actually beat the game with the healer, <laughs> which is uh, kind of crazy. But we did run into an area here that actually has some enemies that I hadn't cleared out. So that's irresponsible on my end. But we do know the staircase is here. And if we go over here, it takes us back to an area we've been to before. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I guess somebody really wanted to say, hey, where's my buddy? Okay, where's, um, we got two beetles up here. Now, beetles are not supposed to be as bad as some other stuff. But we don't want him to get into melee range, so I'll try to keep as much distance as we can. Okay, good. Sleep, little beetle. Stay asleep, please. Oh, shit. Okay, we want you to be stunned and knocked out. Okay, I just hit myself. That's not good. Who's, is anybody else coming for us right now? Don't know for sure. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. We got a rain fairy up there, so it's not totally coming for us. In fact, it decided to take a nap. It's like, all is well, I guess. Time to go to sleep. And we did just track a thunder buddy, which we now know that these guys also shoot arrows. So they're even more dangerous than they already were. Because uh, archers have ended multiple runs for us in the past. Okay, good. Should have an angle here. And I keep hoping that that little down arrow is a uh, stairway down, but it's just me. So we track a few rain buddies if we wait here. Okay. We are knocked out for just a second, but fortunately we can move. So we got hit. Okay, you're coming around the corner. Let's just eat a bandage real quick. That's why we have, oh shit. The one time I use the uh, five button, I need to, I wish I could remap some of these things. I bet there's a way to remap these things. All right, so. Oh look, we just waited the track for you. All right, I'm not trying to be sloppy, but I'm not doing as good as, um. Maybe I was previously. We got two here. That's a lot of damage. So clearly you can hit me with spells. Or I'm just summoning water all over myself right now. Which once again, maybe that's how I what I need to do to get through this level. I need to cross the lava this way. But we won't know for sure. There's a uh, spore bag and a skeleton. Here's some spears. And I think this is another room that was a little concerning to me. And I think those are spears that are actually just left on the ground. So let's see what's up here. Two spears. So that's something that I did clear out before. Okay, we've got up here nothing for now. This looks like area that I've been to before. There's another spear from something I threw. All right. Need to play a game called make sure there's no enemies before we take off our armor here. Oh, I did not want to drop that. All right. Definitely want to keep my magic pants. Okay, so that's just a dead end. What about over here? They're actually taking damage from the extreme heat. 
but we're not getting knocked out by the extreme heat. So that's a plus. Definitely time to put some armor back on. And eat another bandage. Alright, so we got some Thunder Fairies over here. Ho! Oh, got a bunch of them, in fact. That's a problem. Oh, and we got something over here, too. This is a stone container. I bet that has something very important that we need in it. And, of course, it's going to be guarded by, like, everybody all the time. So let's see if we can just kind of creep our way down here. All right. Who else is nearby? You're asleep. Okay, 57 damage. Not bad for a day at the library. We don't have anybody else here. And it looks like we have our staircase to the next area. So it looks like we... Ooh, what's that? That's a temple wall. Okay, so we got um, we got some goodies here. I'm a little concerned about traps right now. Okay, we got one more guy over here. Peekaboo, you're dead. All right, let's bag it and tag it, folks. So we got an altar here, just an altar. Um, how do I check for traps? I think we do a, s I don't know if we do a search. I don't know if I want to do an examine. Should have paid more attention to the tutorial. Do we even have detect traps? I feel like I have one. So if we do a search here. Okay. So bandages are great. Tourniquets are great. Um, I'm going to hold on to the stone ring that doesn't seem to do anything. And we have another torch, which we might end up needing. Uh, we'll take the necklace as well. And uh, we'll put um, this pole arm in there. All right. So you're not an exit. You're just a uh, altar to the lords of Miklan. Let's pray. This may end up really good or really bad. All right. A lost soul freezes you, tries to freeze you, but fails. So we're in a new area. Cool. We're surrounded by enemies. Not cool. Like, we're really surrounded by enemies. Alright, you're stunned. Okay, we are getting a little damaged here. might be able to tank this though. Alright. Already too many things on the ground. Of course there are. So we're just gonna drop you. So this is this is a really nice welcoming committee, I guess. Maybe not my favorite. That was a really big risk that I took equipping that shield, but I was about to die, so. Okay, so lost soul, hello. We are faster than you. But <laughs> this is like, okay, we got stunned. And we're exhausted right now, so. We're freezing as well. So my shield's doing some work. Okay, so. Kind of fortunate that we didn't get critted any of those other times. Okay, we gotta let our stamina recharge a little bit. So this is my first time in this zone. Is it always like this? It might always be like this. Maybe there's something I didn't do. 
Don't know how I make a lost soul bleed, but apparently that's a thing. All right, congratulations. Welcome to Mictalon. This is one of the areas where we are trying to get to, to um, talk to our sun god. So I think this is a um, interesting place to try and see. Let's see. I have I have kind of two two thoughts in mind of this. Do I stop here or do I see how far I can push it? I don't have a ton of torches left, which is a little annoying. So I do think we take that one. We gotta pick up all of our spears here. We gotta pick up our uh, winter dress, which is good cold weather clothing. Yeah, nice, nice new music as well. Um, we are currently having nobody else around here. Let's see. Can we actually carve up the lost soul? We can't. All right. So what's here? A block of decorated stone. So these are just walls. All right. And there's a, uh, I see a cold soul somewhere. And that's some bones. What does the cold soul look like? Okay, we got some, we got some other stuff over here. Some more bones, so. Did I turn the wrong way? I was supposed to try and talk to the sun god, and apparently the sun god's just like, I'm going to drop you in a room, and uh, good luck. There's a corpse of a lost soul. Nothing here we can take. Can't go out this way. Looks like we're going to have to be going through a bit of a maze, so we have some more lost souls up there. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay, that's new. Um, that's a talking stone head. Do we attack it? I don't know. No path, no light. Looks like we cannot attack it, so. Do not forget to bring a worthy present for the Lords of Mictlan. Well, we have, we have some presents. I don't know how many of them are worthy, but we do have some presents. And there's a lost soul up here, so hopefully we can get the jump on it a little bit better this time. They're probably resistant to piercing damage, but I am faster, so that's a plus. There's a nightshade. Okay, nothing nothing else here, so this is where we saved some of these night shards or nightshades for later. We have some armor as well. What do you have to say? Yet no one can oppose the whims of Escadal, the temple where he reigns. We have another lost soul tracking up here. This is some happy little bone armor. What can we drop? I think we are skipping scrolls for now, so we're going to take this bone armor. Bone armor should let us uh, survive in the heat. Alright, we got some stun spores as well. Alright, it's a calabash liquid, sorry. Okay. Oh lord, it's a coming. It's the lost soul of the day. Okay, you should bleed to death. All right, well, I am really impressed with my uh, resilience in making through stuff. Because there's been a few times where uh, I've been on death's door here and I've managed to make it through. All right, so what are you talking enough to say? Beware the winds that are strong. Make yourself heavy. Okay, well... That's um that's useful advice, but I have no idea how to make myself heavy. Maybe that scroll would help, but Oh look, Lost Soul is just like, hello, you wanna spend some time tracking? And track me right up to your face. Alright. 
Uh, you're a fast soul, aren't you? There we go. All right, so we need to watch our stamina pretty good here. And it's interesting that the temperatures are kind of just going all over the place right now. Those who aren't accompanied by their... Oh, boy. Those who aren't accompanied by their puppy will stir the wrath of Zakatano, which is great because our dog, I was going to try to keep it in town. I have no idea how we walk back to where we were before <laughs> to uh, get the dog over here, but... Maybe I'd have to, like, pray and have my dog follow me. But doesn't matter, because it got killed by skeletons at the very beginning of uh, the game. And I didn't want it to. It just did. So that's too bad. Looks like we are incurring the wrath of what's-his-face. So we don't have to kick these guys. We can just take a step away. Maybe. Maybe we do need to kick. All right. So nothing to take. Oh, shit. That's a bunch of them. It's like, look at all the pretty lights. But fortunately, we can put them in a hallway. At least we got a little bit of a straightaway here. It's going to be a little annoying to deal with, but we've dealt with worse. Like, I have a ton of spears. I have bows as a backup, as I need it, but it looks like we're going to have to just rest for a minute. Get these souls to kind of poke at us a bit. Take a little damage. Okay. So, kick again. If these souls are so lost, why do they keep getting in my business? All right. Okay, so you're about to be dead. You're about to be dead. Probably back up a little bit for you. Aiming doesn't take stamina. There we go. So we'll just... Who 126. The lost soul is bl brutally drilled. How many spears do I have left? 10. So fighting gets really bad. I know how much it's going to take. So seven spears, one spear, skeleton here, seven spears, one spear, nothing else available, one spear, two spears. So this is an interesting set of chambers. I really like when games will do stuff like this. It's not just a maze all the time. Uh, Tepel uh, Monastery crushes only the unwary. Well... Thanks for the tip. Um, nothing up here. Um, what about up here? There's a lost soul. There's a lost soul right in my face. Man, the afterlife is crazy. And I just lost my grip. That's so terrible. This is why we lot of, leave a lot of room behind us. You should die from bleed damage. So let's recover our stamina and try again. Cool. So we have some more lost souls up here for sure. Um, we got three. Uh oh. We got uh we got some puppies that are gonna be angry at us too. Um. How do I want to do this? Because these guys are going to come after me hard because I don't have my dog. And I can try to hide and go around them, but I don't know if I'm going to succeed. So if we die from lack of having a puppy, then we're just going to die from lack of having a puppy. And damn the luck on the game. Because who knew I'd make it this far only to uh, be undone by a skeleton in the opening town. It doesn't even always appear there. All right, so. Still really fascinating to make it this far. I think it is time we, um, I kind of want to keep the rope. It feels like the rope that I've been holding on to this whole game is going to be useful. 
These stones are probably not going to be useful. So let's go ahead. Let's unwield this torch. Let's equip our shield. This is when we eat our night shards. So we now see this guy. It's going to be able to smell us, maybe. We can aim for it. Oh, we can't actually attack it. All right. Okay, something's coming for us. 18 damage. 399 damage. A brutal attack pierces the spinal column and splits it in two. So we just killed another dog. Fifty-one damage. Attack penetrates the white uh, Zolo Zincontel's right hind leg and destroys a vein, and it bleeds profusely. Well, we are just our sacrilegious little dudes today, aren't we? If we're we track a lost soul as well. Well, it's nice to know that uh can't actually fire on it because it's not close enough to us. All right. So those are the puppies. I think that if we had our puppy, they wouldn't attack us. So it makes me a little sad. We take a blowgun. We don't need a blowgun. What we do need, though, is um, some stakes. Let's drop you down here. Or... Uh, and actually tear you apart. So we're going to eat our dog friend. Nice. There's another one here that's uh, just snoozing. Okay, that's too bad. Oh god, we, we woke up the rest of them. That's 20 damage. So we've got a we've got a rest. How many spears do we have? Fifteen. Okay, night berries are gone. Let's eat the other ones. Okay, you're gonna bleed to death. So let's get the hell out try to recover some stamina there's no wind so our scent is not going to be caught by the dog hopefully and there's something to be said about being able to sneak around these guys okay so we shot another one it looks like that might be a corpse some blood we got to recover some spears Is that another one? Yes. So our poor... I feel terrible. There's some herb plaster. We need that. Okay. Gotta watch our stamina. Which means we may run out of uh, stuff before too long. There we go. We hit ourselves... As we throw it. Alright. Well, I guess it's back to Torch Town. Alright. I feel so bad. This is so many dead dogs. But we're getting experience, so that's a plus. A lot of spears to recover, so there's something on the ground. Here's a spear. We have axotls, axotls available up here. So we've got more enemies. 
in the dark. Two herb plasters. There's a pup that we knocked out and killed. Oh man. Doesn't feel great, but this is just the where we're at in the game right now. There's an axolotl. Oh, it looks so cute. Probably very deadly though. They're fast fuckers. And tanky as hell. And there's our level up. Okay. Throwable weapons. I think we do two levels and bows now. Light armor. Tracking. Hiding. Dodging. First aid. And then... I feel, I feel like we're going to need some swimming. And we'll do um, detect traps as well. Because I, I hear water... Oh shit, okay. We're bleeding. Okay, that's a problem. Alright, so we got two alternatives here. We can try to set the Axotl on fire. So that seems to be okay. Let's drop the torch. We have our shield, let's equip the shield. He just tried to attack us again. Okay. No rest for the weary. And uh, what's this? We're spent. Now I wonder what spent means. I think that means we need to sleep. Well, that's that's going to be a problem. Okay. Um, do we have anybody around here? Doesn't look like it. Um, you have no need to rest, but look for a bed if you want to sleep. Well, I do. I would like to sleep, apparently. Oh my gosh, we're actually um, we're actually out of spears. All right. Well. Five spears, one spear, three fire darts, four spears. We need to quiver the spears again. So this is a problem. 364 damage is a pretty good solution, though. We got a bunch of spears down here that we threw as well, though. Let's make sure that we don't have any other puppies coming our way. We got one Axotl that's up there. We got a lost soul that's not registering. Okay, so there's the lost soul. Let's help you find eternal rest and peace. But yeah, how many? We have, we have been flying through these spears. Okay, that's take. I was wondering what that icon meant. get our stamina back up so if we can find a bed that'd be really nice especially here in the afterlife okay how many spears do we have now 22 not great and there's a white puppy just in time that's a lot of blood coming out of that puppy all right and we got another night shard over here what else do we got got another sleeping dog I mean, the question is, do I fight the sleeping... Do I fight the dogs? I think I do. As terrible as I feel about it. Experience at the end of the day counts as experience. But I'm really glad I have the bow backup strat because... We're running out of spears in a hurry. And these things being very resistant... The thrown weapons is a little annoying. These are some dangerous steps I'm taking over here. A 
let's see if we can rest a little bit. All right. Don't need to use the rest. We do need to sleep. Why can't we sleep on the cave floor with the nice, happy sounding river in the background? Got some more milky liquid and a skeleton. So we got two axolotls. Axolotls, another creature that's uh, good for swimming. Um, let's see what we can get here. Gotta back it up. Good, you're dead. Now we got the other one. Not the best I've ever done at this game. What am I talking about? This is the best I've ever done at this game. Um, those are some bravery kicks, as it were. So we're killing a lot of shit. But once again, my spear count is uh, low, 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 and I've been doing a lot of fighting in a big open room. But level 9 is definitely a level I've never hit before, so... 48 damage, 19 damage. I aimed and then I stunned myself. That's that's the quality of play we look for from Asha Wells. 334. That's better. Okay, what's our name here? We're actually still we're Grandmaster Thrower Hunter. That's really cool. All right. So two spears here. Bunch of spears all over the place. Because we're going to need them. With all these cute water creatures. Do not tell my daughter that we're hunting and killing axolotls today. These are one of her favorite animals. She'll be very disappointed that I've stunned myself. Managed to stun myself twice. Okay, I know what I'm going to do here. We are going to um, extinguish the torch. We're going to hide. And we have no exiles after us, so we've got to definitely recover here. And suddenly we have a uh, torch problem. Okay, I have one good torch left. Alright, so. How many spears do I have left? Five. That's probably not enough to kill an axolotl. So um, we're going to need to figure this out. To It's 29 damage. Just kiting is fun. You should be dead. There we go. They bleed a lot. If you get them correctly. But yeah, one of the issues that we have is that uh, we're killing a lot of things with spears. But we don't always get the spears back when we do it. There we go. Like that annoying asshole. spears we're gonna have to drop into you and we get this exile coming can't quiver anything okay we're gonna extinguish this or run like hell we're gonna try to hide again shit still on us because it's an animal it's an animal all right new plan And we're bleeding, and we're igniting, and we're dropping, and we are holding this in the left hand. Bravery kick. That's, I need to stop that bleeding. I hate using the night shard for this. Well, we could use a... No, we can't use a fire dart. If 
four spears. Okay, guess we quiver four spears. Okay, you guys take a lot of bleeding damage, right? And you're knocked out. Good. Now, unfortunately, we don't get to keep all the spears. But... We're going to use up all these torches that we have to free up some inventory. Suddenly miss all my little water lilies. What? Okay, we don't want the spear thrower. We want the actual spears. So look, we're drowning again. So I was right, we do need to be able to swim a little bit. And we've got axolotls. Oh my god, this is like the murder of the axolotls. And no matter how far we run, they are just constantly in sight. Oh my god, there's two. Torch is no longer lit. Still coming for me. Now you're not coming for me. Okay. So I'm low, low on resources. I may need to switch to my bow here soon, but we'll go ahead and uh, drop you. Drop you. See, the problem with the bow is that I have to use it in two hands. But I need spears, not the spear throw. Right now I have 11. Which is not great. Let's take another uh, bandage, please. Now, how many arrows do I have, by the way? 59 arrows. So the axolotl didn't follow me all the way out here, right? That'd be like a nice surprise. Okay, because I do, I do need to pick up my goodies. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But clearly this area is dangerous. Holy shit. Oh my god! We're bleeding in the water. Okay, this, this may be... The, this may be how we die. Alright, well. I think we've had a really good run. Yeah, this is this is totally it. Oh, I stupidly jumped into a water full of axolotls. But that is that is fascinating. That was a really good run. I'm really I'm really happy with how that went. I ran out of throwing spears at the end, but that's three hours turned seven thousand five hundred and eighty-four. And not a lot of those were spent waiting until the end. But if we look at our morgue data here, clearly a personal best. I actually have bright green light up here. I have had some games with similar turns, but that's a run that'll go down in history. Uh, Chihato Pikitsiki, I will never, I'll have to learn how to actually pronounce that. Died in Mictlan. Because we couldn't make it around a bunch of axolotls, but we got 100,000 experience. So I think one of the issues that we had here was just that the throwing weapons were great until we ran out of spears, and we never tried with the bow. So that's that's something that I'm a little sad that I didn't get to. Um, yeah, we killed 279 creatures, that's good. So I think one of the things that we'll need to figure out in future runs is how exactly can I get around that area in the dark by just tracking creatures and hoping they don't aggro me. But yeah, um, 
just really, really good stuff. And I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely look forward to seeing if anybody has any thoughts in the comments. This is a game where there are people out there that play it better than me, but I haven't had a chance to watch anyone else play it with me, so we're going we're gonna to make mistakes like this. I'm going to have runs that go for three hours that go really well, and then, oh my god, there's a river that I'm not equipped to deal with. So definitely need to get better swimming skill than level 2 swimming by the time I get to Mictalon. Good to know. But otherwise, that's it for now. Any advice is always appreciated. This is Asher, and we'll do this again soon. That's Dawn of the Mashika. You all have a good rest of your day.